think I'm done with Christmas being about the bitter cold and a nauseating amount of light and Santa exploiting the working class. You know, the only ho-ho-hos that I want are the ones with a fat ass. <laughs> Actually, that's weird. If Jabba drowned in the ocean, I can guarantee I would not be the one to rescue him. On the upside, I look great. I should be selling underwear in a Sears catalog. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Paint the Town Red, uh, otherwise known as the most festive color of them all. I mean, if it just so happens that I need to turn somebody inside out to spread the holiday cheer, then that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Hey Santa, do you remember when Rudolph was getting bullied year round for having a screwed up red nose and you didn't do anything about it? Well, you reap what you sow, old man. Calm your little gingerbread nuts, guys. Okay, obviously I was just kidding. Uh, I'm not gonna bludgeon Santa to death in a cold open like that. You know, it's not every day that you get to have a tour of his sweat shop. I mean, workshop? Consensual elf factory? Like. People seem to think that this place exists in the North Pole because it's some kind of winter wonderland, but in all reality, it's because of labor laws. That's some fine craftsmanship on little Timmy's guitar. I gotta say, it's truly magical. Okay, the word is fruitcake. As soon as I say that, you rush the guards. We're gonna have an uprising, just you wait. I need to go have a quick word with the head honcho. I like the fact that he has a saber and booze. <laughs> And I'm just realizing Rudolph. <laughs> There's something about his face twitching when he blinks that's really off-putting. Oh, I don't like it. Also, not sure if I want to fight the cookie guards or not. They should just crumble, but you never know. Oh, okay, fruitcake, fruitcake, everybody fruitcake. Oh my god, that wasn't good craftsmanship. <laughs> It's such a simple level, it's so damn funny. Okay, I want the bat. Yeah, this this will work. Not me, idiot. There I'm okay, fine. You just wanna throw a haymaker, see you repair that. You idiots do realize that I'm the one leading the uprising against your oppressor, right? But yeah, I didn't ask you to get fisted for Christmas. That was your mom. Don't worry, I'll get him. I'll get him or not. You really didn't make a whole lot considering it's only a couple of days until Christmas. Where are all the gifts? Ow, ow, okay, ah, uh, there's gotta be something around here somewhere. I can't pick up Santa's booze. Why can't I pick up Santa's magic booze? All right, I mean, I, I kinda had that coming. I think after trying to overthrow Christmas, there's a good chance that I'm cemented onto the naughty list. And if I wasn't before, then I definitely am now. We're gonna move on to a slightly different holiday level called Cannibal Thanksgiving. I'm guessing that the cannibals celebrate a little later than the rest of us. Dude, take the hint. It's not like your face and my foot are under mistletoe or something like that. I don't want to come to dinner. I don't want to become dinner. I don't want to have to ask Santa for new shoes because I'm definitely not gonna get them. So please just stop. Well, Cannibal Canyon definitely lives up to its name. <laughs> At least the rest of them seem cool, though. I mean, as cool as you can be while eating other people. <laughs> what I mean to say is they're not attacking me, and, and maybe they've got a vegetarian option. Uh, it looks like they've got raw corn, uh, maybe giant carrots or pumpkin. Maybe I'll just try a little human. I just wanted my vacation to be somewhere new and exciting. Remind me when I get home to take a dump under my travel agent's Christmas tree because this is completely unacceptable. Guys, I think I'm just gonna skip the meal. I'm not feeling all that hungry. If you'll excuse me, I'll be in my quarters probably crying under the bed because there seem to be people in my bed and on my floor. Uh, oh, it was a male. <laughs> excuse me, but uh, these are my quarters. So if you guys could just, yeah, you could sleep on the floor, but I, I'm gonna try my best not to piss off anybody else. Are we cool? We're still cool. Okay, good. Oh, well, isn't this just adorable? There's a little baby cannibal. Like a whole cannibal family coming together for a holiday meal. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. 
It was honest to God a finger twitch. I was gonna say, I don't need to bother you guys. Okay, I, I could just leave you to your meal. Just because there are cultural differences doesn't mean that I need to judge. I apologize. It's a misunderstanding. That being said, I'm not really looking to leave behind some kind of cannibal orphan to grow up to be cannibal Batman, so hopefully you understand. <laughs> oh, no. It actually was Thanksgiving. I, I showed up and wiped out the locals like a complete dick. This is a mistake that I'm willing to fess up to, but you need to look at the bright side of things. There's definitely a whole lot more to eat all of a sudden. So what are the chances I could get you down off that cooked crotch so that you could start processing some of these meals. Nope. All right, then. Of course they would have caged livestock. I should have known that you would be here, Fluffles. I should have known that you would be on the menu and that you wouldn't make friends with any of the creepy fish people. I'm going to get you out of there, buds. I've got the key, so hopefully... They don't want a piece of me? Yeah, that's right. You better scatter. Oh, no, no. The big ones want a piece, Fluffle. <laughs> I don't suppose you could deal with the younglings, could you? I really don't want to go full-blown Anakin. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave them to you. I think I saw a cave in the back. Maybe there are a couple more cannibals back here. That would be lovely. I would love to explain this entire misunderstanding. It's really weighing on my conscience, and I've done enough to be on the naughty list. Oh, we've got an ideas room. Interesting. I'm thinking this is just where I go to come up with ideas, of course. <laughs> Smoking some wacky tobacco, are you? Well, then, I I'm just gonna leave you to it. I'll... Wait for Fluffles to finish off the remains. Oh, we got some complaints. Uh, oh yeah, they re really don't appreciate complaints around these parts. What are you doing here, Dracula? Since when are you the guy on the Quaker box? <laughs> Leave him alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you accept my apology? We cool? I think we're cool. We're cool. Okay, wonderful. Well, fortunately, my actions here today haven't made their way to the complaint boards yet. I don't think there will be any survivors who can write. The Fluffles definitely doesn't know how to read or write. I don't know who else is left. But overall, I think this was quite a successful holiday. You guys can clean up, right? Your gear goods? Uh, I'm just going to head on to the next thing. I mean, Christmas is going to happen any second now. I think I'm done with Christmas being about the bitter cold and a nauseating amount of lights and Santa exploiting the working class. You know, the only ho-ho-hos that I want are the ones with a fat ass. <laughs> Actually, that's weird. If Jabba drowned in the ocean, I can guarantee I would not be the one to rescue him. <gasps> On the upside, I look great. Like I should be selling underwear in a Sears catalog. I can't forget to mention, this is a highly anticipated level called Dream Simulator 2 Vacation Simulator. That's right, I'm gonna spend my Christmas down south, so sue me. Uh, I might be getting old, but that doesn't mean that I'm not fashionable in my fully checkered suit on the beach. <gasps> Why am I in wrapping paper, but you're in ribbon? Actually, you shouldn't change. I'm the one who should change. I'm not complaining. I, I, I'm just going to go about exploring this island. We've got beach cheese. Is that a thing? I've never heard of beach cheese before. Something was baked into that cheese. I can guarantee it. And by the look of things, you are also baked. <laughs> I think I'll pass. I, I, I'm really just trying to find out where I can change and put on something a little bit skimpier. Excuse me, sir. I can see your import slot. That's highly inappropriate. I know you don't have skin, but I'm really gonna hope that that sunscreen on your face and uh, not little leftover party boy goo if you catch my drift. Because <laughs> that would be really awkward. About as awkward as finding human-sized cages on this robot island. Oh, am I? I am just not gonna make eye contact with you. Just gonna mosey on. You're having a great time in the sun. 
Why is everyone here high as a kite and a complete idiot? It's bad enough that they're wearing Speedos, but like, you're gonna blow yourselves apart. Can I blow you apart? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry, we'll get a lifeguard in here. Everything is gonna be fine. He's fine, okay? Everyone calm down. You see, it's not a big deal. Like, I swooped in with all of my muscles and built them back up like Humpty Dumpty. They couldn't put him back together again, could they? I'm a little distracted by the rainbow robo assets. I think I'm just gonna go check out the boat. Can I get on the SS job bot? This seems like a bit of a mistake, but I got nothing else to do. I really just wanna change. Oh, okay. Did I drown? Am I gonna come rescue myself? <laughs> Consider me concerned. Oh, right. It's a dream simulation. It, it's never that easy. And we're back to a winter wonderland. God damn it. I'm telling you, you really drew the short straw on work assignments this week, didn't you? Everyone else is up in the sun, just baking in multiple ways. Meanwhile, you're down here in the snow? What are you guys all up to? Then running around like a bunch of idiots. Oh, we've got reindeer. I really just can't escape Christmas and a couple of rogue elves <laughs> and Santa. Well, I, I don't suppose I could just cut in line. Yeah, excuse, excuse me, kids. Excuse, pardon me. I, oh my God. Maybe I won't skip the line. Maybe I'll just hang out back here and hope to never have to sit on the lap of that sleep paralysis demon. I like the fact that you could tell that they're elves because some of them have full beards. I'm gonna borrow this. Y you can start making another. I get the feeling I might need it. <gasps> I keep looking around though. I see a locked door over there. I don't suppose there's a key around. Would it be inside Santa? Because, nope, it's on a desk. I was gonna say it'd be really difficult for me to retrieve that. This is just a cozy little place to be. Look at you guys in your, oh, I was gonna say pajamas, but you're probably, yeah, you're on your smoke break. These are the bigger elves. <laughs> Sometimes they just have to let them grow so that they can get stuff off the hard to reach shelves. It's a real shame that all the others are stunted. It's, it's kind of inhumane, actually. Santa's the worst. Death to the oppressor. I am sorry, baby fluffles. It was the only way. Now remember, they're elves, so this is perfectly fine. We're good. Oh, you guys are cool. Yeah, all the people in this little Christmas village are kind of happy that I got rid of them. <gasps> all right, I feel good about that. We'll, we'll let the others roam around. They can live happily ever after. I've got uh, another dream to enter. Okay. This is weird. Fortunately, I found the poop shack. What are you willing to bet Fluffles is in here? I'm sorry, kind of appreciative that you're gonna get that little bit of splooge off your face, but I'm just looking for my friend. Gotta be around here somewhere. No? I guess I did technically leave him behind and shoot his younger self. What just happened? Did I just switch realities? What was that? I may have just glitched in the wall and I'm a little bit paranoid. So what are you guys supposed to be? Like the Boy Scout bots? I get the feeling if a stranger approached you in the woods brandishing an AK-47, you'd probably do more than continue to cook your meat. It's so weird though. Why would there be camping? I'm such an idiot. It's vacation simulator. Right, that's the whole point of this is we had the beach level and then we had the mountain level and now we've got the forest level. Okay, it's now making a little bit more sense. I'm just so stuck in the Christmas mindset that I didn't think there would be bears. I, I think I've got better bear repellent already. I should be fine. That's not good. I can't leave this layer of the simulation without a red key but I haven't seen one anywhere, and I really don't want to have to kill all of these campers for no reason. 
I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sorry about this, folks. Have you seen a red key around? Red key. Don't worry, it's very holiday driven and they were robots. So again, this is perfectly fine. Oh, it was just right here. Oops. You guys didn't see anything, okay? If anyone asks, they tripped and fell on a bunch of bullets in the woods. <laughs> That's gonna be my alibi. Now we move on to the final boss where I could take a sword, but I'm kind of feeling this gun. I don't know if it's gonna run out of bullets. If it does, I can hopefully turn back. Fingers crossed, what the hell? Oh, is that you Karen? Yeah, those are some Karens, all right. You usually want to speak to the boss rather than be the boss, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop one in your head. That's concerning. Oh, oh crap. I think the Karens have taken over the island. Um, yeah, if you could just uh, stay back. Stay back. Karen? No, no, Karen. No means no. Oh, come on. I'm just a lowly retail worker. There's the good stuff. Okay, yeah, I think the gun was definitely the right choice. <laughs> All right, well, it's good to see that the elves didn't go completely extinct. Just partying here? Yeah. This is awesome. Why are you threatening to push her into the pool? That's a bit of a dick. A moo. Mm. My bad. I said my bad. Guys, come on. No, I, I, I want a vacation with them titties. Oh, come on. Please help me. <laughs> I can probably get out of this, right? I, I, I can recover. I'm a smooth talker. Let's just leave. Leaving works too. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Right, you guys. And as always, a big thank you to all the people who make levels for me to play. It's just so cool. I love seeing memes and jokes and characters from the channel. And even though I don't really feel inclined to play this game all that often, it's always nice to be able to sit down and just last minute choose to play it and have a bunch of great content to cover. So if you guys wanna see more Paint the Town Red, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to make things festive again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.